up for the tree. Okay, here we go. Just gonna open that up. That's gonna dump. Jason had to shovel some gravel in front of Chuck's back tire because as you can see the driveway's so bad the gravel guy's getting stuck. But he should be able to get out now. He's free. <laughs> Jason was able to shovel gravel in the holes to get him out because that's the point. <laughs> All right. the remainder in those tire ruts there. This guy's a pro. All right, next load coming soon. First pile of gravel. You see where he got stuck? So this is what happens. This mud is so slippery, even if it's not deep, he was sliding around right over here. But, success. <sighs> okay, load one done. Basically, Jason has to push it forward really, really lightly, and then he has to pull it back. And that's kind of the only way we can do it, kind of like we're, uh, like we're laying bricks and putting mortar in between. It's kind of what this is. The tractor doesn't dig very well, and the bucket's not as wide as the tires, so you're not getting a nice, smooth result like you would with a dozer. So, considering all those factors, Jason's doing a great job. He has to sh comb it forward like this. He's trying to make it so Chuck can get in to dump it even further this time, but we can't do it if he can't get in. So, there. Yeah, this one, forward, forward. 
four, 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 done. Good, and now he's gonna pull it back. I'm trying to do this <laughs> for you guys and give hand signals and help, so. Already this is a far sight better than what we had before, because at least we have traction now. He's just trying to lay it on really thick for Chuck because Chuck's truck is very heavy when he's got a full load of gravel and uh, it makes him want to slide around. So even if the mud isn't really particularly deep, this stuff gets slippery and so we don't want that. So Jason's really working hard to do it in between loads. And also the thicker the better. So. to see all the light I'm trying to get it to where there we go there's kind of visible so he's just smoothing out the tire ruts now 
if he's got this down, how we're gonna spread it out. Just trying to get rid of the ruts, and these happen because the bucket is not as wide as the tractor tire, so it ruts like crazy. So he's gotta always come back at a different angle. And he gets some air sometimes. <laughs>